10 year note yields move lower today after seeing a range of 397 all the way down to 384. Closing out the afternoon at around 386. CPI did come in lower today. So inflation is continuing to move lower as the Fed has intended since they began their rate hike cycle back in early last year. 10 year note yields were above 4% earlier this week. So a bit of a shift started yesterday and continued today as a result of weaker CPI. We did have a 10 year note auction today, which went off with stronger demand that also helped to push yields lower again. 10 year note yields back below 390, right around 386 on the close today. Now, what does this mean for volatility? Well, if you check out that CVOL index over at cmegroup.com, volatility has been a mixed bag as of late. As yields have risen, we have seen yields moving higher, but not at an alarming pace. That all reversed today after CPI. We saw volatility go much lower as yields went lower, and those Fed hike rate hike expectations went out the door. The market's still pricing in a 25 basis point rate hike in the, at the July FOMC later this month. However, any chance, or at least today, any chance of future rate hikes in 2023 seem to be off the table based on what we're seeing from Fed fund futures. And so again, volatility lower as yields went lower. Last, let's talk about what we have later this week. Tomorrow is Thursday. Tuesday, we got our in the moment look at the jobs market via the claims number. We also get the follow-up to CPI with PPI and a 30-year auction. We do get a few Fed speakers, which may try to articulate possibly what they said was going to happen as inflation has come down or maybe argue something else. But Fed speakers have been out and about this week. We will get a few tomorrow to probably talk about what we're seeing right now with inflation. So midweek, we see 10-year note yields moving lower, getting all the way down to 384 after today's weaker than expected CPI ahead of tomorrow's claims, PPI, and a 30-year auction.